Multiple Intelligences for All Ages, prepared by Dr. Katherine Garland for Santa Fe College and the U.S. Department of Education's C Campus Grants. In 2011, Howard Gardner theorized there were seven multiple intelligences, not just an academic one. Since then, two have been added. In this video, eight multiple intelligences will be explained. Additionally, ideas on how parents can help children birth through 18 develop each intelligence will be shared. Let's begin. Linguistic verbal intelligence refers to the ability to learn, understand, and use language. Typically, those who have linguistic and verbal intelligence remember written and spoken information, enjoy reading and writing, debate or give persuasive speeches, are able to explain things well, and use humor when telling stories. Children birth to five years old may enjoy being read to when they are younger. As they age, encourage them to tell you a story. Ask elementary age children to create a presentation for something they want. There are many free presentation tools available that are appropriate for this age, or they can use poster board. Middle and high school age children are old enough to create social media for more than entertainment. Encourage them to use these tools to highlight a local or global issue that interests them. See if they want to podcast. There are many free tools to get started. Logical mathematical intelligence refers to the ability to think logically and scientifically. Those who have logical mathematical intelligence have excellent problem solving skills, enjoy thinking about abstract ideas, like conducting scientific experiments, and can solve complex computations. Children birth to five years old can be introduced to shapes and counting Depending on the child's age, either they or you can draw shapes on colorful paper and label them, or you can prompt them to count during authentic times by asking, how many bananas do you see while at the grocery store, or how many red cars are in front of you while in traffic? Ask elementary age children to help prepare a meal. Cooking introduces children to why measurements, such as fractions, are important, especially when baking. Middle and high school age children may enjoy coding. Free apps such as VidCode, Alice, and App Inventor can bring their creative math and technology ideas to life in real time. Age-appropriate puzzles and games such as Payday and Monopoly can also provide hands-on classic fun for children who are more logically and mathematically inclined. Musical intelligence refers to the ability to recognize musical patterns and compose music. Those who have musical intelligence enjoy singing and playing musical instruments, recognize musical patterns and tones easily, remember songs and melodies, have a rich understanding of musical structure, rhythm, and notes. For children birth to five years old, Use items around the house to see what type of sound they make. A spoon against a pot sounds different against a box, for example. Sing frequently and encourage the child to follow along. Ask elementary age children to make up their own appropriate lyrics to popular songs and then invite them to perform it for you or your family and friends. Middle and high school students may have already discovered their natural born talent for singing or creating music, so find ways to not only foster but also support their musical abilities. For example, is there a place they can showcase their talent? Ideas can range from passing a recording around to family and friends to intentionally posting on social media. Bodily kinesthetic intelligence refers to the ability to direct bodily movements through mental abilities. Those who are more bodily kinesthetically intelligent are skilled at dancing and sports, enjoy creating things with their hands, have excellent physical coordination, and remember by doing rather than hearing or seeing. 
Children birthed to five years old may demonstrate early signs of this intelligence because they really enjoy music, moving around, or sports. For babies, be sure to pick them up and dance with them in your arms. Turn on music and dance with older children. Playing outdoor sports like catch or riding a bike are also good for children in this age range. Elementary age children may show interest in choreographed dancing or team sports. If this isn't possible, encourage them to begin a neighborhood dance or sports team. Middle and high school children may want to spend more time on a school sports team. At this age, you can also use sports or dance metaphors to explain other concepts so that they make more sense. This type of intelligence also includes working with one's hands, so children may be interested in creating art, sculptures, or toy models. Spatial intelligence refers to the ability to recognize dimensions of large and confined spaces. Typically, those with spatial intelligence read and write for enjoyment, are good at putting puzzles together, interpret pictures, graphs, and charts well, enjoy drawing, painting, and the visual arts, and recognize patterns easily. Blocks, blocks, and more blocks are what birth to five-year-old children may enjoy if they have spatial intelligence. Try to avoid showing the child what he, she, or they should be building. Children with spatial intelligence know what they are creating. Also, consider supervising older children with crayons, watercolors, and plain paper. Aside from building and drawing, elementary age children who possess spatial intelligence may enjoy word or logic puzzles or jigsaw puzzles. Many times, these can be found at a local dollar store. Middle and high school age children may find value in an art journal, or perhaps they can make one from blank pages. Here is where they can keep their ideas or doodle. These teens may also like creating charts that represent societal issues that matter to them. For example, which city in their state recycles the most or least, and why is that important? Naturalistic intelligence refers to the ability to find patterns and relationships to nature. Those with naturalistic intelligence are interested in subjects such as botany, biology, and zoology. Categorize and catalog, catalog information easily. Enjoy camping, gardening, hiking, and exploring the outdoors. And dislikes learning unfamiliar topics that have no connection to nature. Children birth to five years old may enjoy being outdoors or with animals. Consider spending time at the park, beach, botanical garden, or zoo. Older children in this age group can also help with gardening tasks such as pulling weeds or planting, or they may be trusted to feed the family pet. Elementary age children who exhibit naturalistic intelligence may be interested in starting their own garden. This could begin with a small planter inside the house or something larger outside. Consider introducing elementary age children to Girl Scouts or Boy Scouts, where they may hike and explore the outdoors. Talk to these children about the environment. In addition to camping, middle and high school age children may want to canoe or kayak. Encourage children this age to join 4-H, which may be offered at their school. Interpersonal intelligence refers to the ability to understand and work effectively with others. Those with strong interpersonal intelligence communicate well verbally, are skilled in nonverbal communication, see situations from different perspectives, create positive relationships with others, and resolve conflicts in group settings. Children birth to five years old may show early signs of enjoying being around people. These children may like being in small play groups. Elementary age children may want to be a part of an organized group such as Pop Warner Little Scholars. They may also like socializing in school or being a part of group projects. Middle and high school age children are similar in that they may seek organized sports or extracurricular activities with like-minded children. 
For example, these children may want to join a school club like Interact, which is sponsored by Rotary International, or they may want to create their own club. Overall, these children enjoy engaging with others, and this can also be combined with another intelligence. A child with interpersonal and naturalistic or logical mathematical intelligence may find participating in 4-H enjoyable, while one who is more linguistic may want to be on a debate club. Intrapersonal intelligence refers to the ability to understand oneself and to regulate oneself. Typically, those with intrapersonal intelligence analyze their strengths and weaknesses well, enjoy analyzing theories and ideas, have excellent self-awareness, and understand the basis for his or her or their own motivations and feelings. Children birth to five years old may show early signs of wanting to figure things out on their own. Even when in playgroups, these children tend to explore independently. Elementary age children may enjoy activities that lead to self-discovery, such as writing, art, or dance. Consequently, these children may also demonstrate linguistic, spatial, or bodily kinesthetic intelligence. Similarly, middle and high school age children may exhibit characteristics as they age. However, the key is not to force social interaction. These children are typically fine creating or thinking on their own in conjunction with another intelligence. Howard Gardner theorized the multiple intelligences to help advance the idea that children are more than just academically intelligent. Knowledge of children's multiple intelligences can support them as they advance in school. For example, a child with musical intelligence may learn to use timing or beats to improve their logical mathematical intelligence. A child who is linguistically intelligent may learn to be more interpersonal so they can publish their written work. There are several possibilities. Knowing a child's dominant multiple intelligence is just the beginning. Dr. Garland is Associate Professor of Education at Santa Fe College. For more information, please email.